Hi, my name is Jackie. I'm 32 years old. I'm a freelance illustrator, and I'm here to tell you more about Jackie Pollock. So Abducted by Fire started out as a poem I wrote about 10 years ago. Uh, the poem portrays uh, a time in my life where I was really struggling with uh, a lot of different uh, hard feelings. I had just gone through a divorce. Um, I was experiencing new love. Um, I had just moved. I had just lost my job. Um, and yet I still had this burning um, desire to to create. Um, it was, um, it, it was overwhelming passion. Um, and so I sat down to, um, get it out on paper, but I, I couldn't, uh, draw, uh, for some reason. I just, it, nothing would come to me. It was kind of like, um, the artist version of writer's block. So instead I just started writing, um, and it, uh, it ended with, the words abducted by fire, which was the only thing I could come up with to describe, you know, this feeling of um, just feeling all of this, um, this passion, all of this um, creative energy, um, but not being able to, um, to express it, um, except with the words abducted by fire. So it just kind of stuck with me. And um, I kept, kept using it over the years. And uh, that's, that's the secret behind Abducted by Fire. My work is very illustrative. Um, sometimes it's a little bit dark, uh, but I try to mix light into it um, because it's, it's very truthful. Uh, that's, a, that's a very big part of my philosophy is, um, especially in activism, when you see something in your world that uh, doesn't really seem okay. Uh, I feel like as, as artists, it's our duty to, um, to get that word out there, uh, to tell the truth. Um, but a lot of times that truth is just too dark. It, people can't stomach it. Um, it's, um, it's it, a lot of it's just not okay. So um, I believe that, you know, it's, uh, it's important to try and portray that truth with a little bit of uh, light in the most beautiful way that you possibly can, it's just so that, you know, it's not really, um, it's not really sugarcoating it. It's more just um, making it a little bit more, a um, little bit easier to take in. So I started uh, drawing when I first learned how to pick up a pencil, which I mean, it was probably, oh, I have no idea. I was probably like two or something. Uh, it just started out with scribbles, um, but I didn't start really seriously trying to, uh, you know, get into um, more technical aspects of art itself until I was about 16. So um, yeah, a little over, goodness, a little over uh, 15 years. Um, but I have been a, a freelance artist for about 10 years now. So getting into um, art uh, felt as natural as breathing to me. I know that sounds really cheesy, uh, but I think words are like a sec second language to me. Uh, I, I communicate more easily with pictures. And so learning how to draw was almost like learning how to communicate uh, with other people, right? So I try to speak and words don't always work for me. So when I have something more profound that I want to communicate, uh, I, I, I go to pictures. And so it just, it just seemed uh, like the, the right way to go to learn how to create those pictures more, more accurately, um, more clearly. Oh my God. Yes, it is very hard. Uh, there's days that you just want to give up. You feel lazy. Um, there's days where, uh, I just have a complete block. Nothing comes to me. 
Uh, and then there's also the the struggle that an artist feels with uh, the money aspect of it. You know, it's part of who we are. It's part of our souls. You know, to, to accept money for something like that, it just feels wrong sometimes. Uh, so you have to also try and uh, get over that part of it too, because um, you know we got to feed our families. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's extremely difficult sometimes. I think if my life was a book, the book would be called Vita Judicium. It's um, life trial in Latin. Um, life never goes according to plan. And um, every life is unique, and every life has trials. Um, I'm nobody special. Uh, I have a few things that I want to say that I want to uh, portray before I go. Um, but I, I really want to express to the world that um, there's, there's really nothing uh, important about me. It's not about me. It's about uh, life. It's about... Uh, how you treat other people. It's about um, how you how you make it through those trials. Um, it's about love, uh, but it, I never ever want people to remember my name as an artist. I want people to remember what it is I'm trying to say with my art, um, and uh, I want people to understand that. I'm no different. Life is hard, and uh, and everybody everybody struggles. Everybody suffers at some point. So um, I think that um, the vita judicium um, really uh, really says that you know I have a life and I, I go through trials, and I really get a kick out of Latin. Well, it, I, that really depends on the, the commission that you're working on, um, whether you're you know working on a unique piece, um, uh, something for a, a gallery show, or if you're doing um, a commission for an individual. Um, uh, most, I'm, mostly you just sit down at your uh, your easel or your drafting table and you you get to work but uh, again I mean um, you know life life is crazy and uh, nothing ever goes the way you want it to so um, a lot of times that you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off hoping that something gets done some days you know nothing gets done and other days you do too much work and uh, well, maybe that's just me and maybe I, I'm um, badly organized, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, sometimes it can be really, uh, unpredictable and, uh, scary. It can be really scary because you, you really never know, you know, what the next day holds for you. You know, when you, when you knock out all those commissions and, you know, you don't have any shows coming up and sitting there wondering, you know, what to do next, uh, it can be really scary not knowing, but... You know, you always just uh, you always just keep going as best as you can. Oh wow, this is a great question. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I have uh, I have heard quite a few um, self-proclaimed artists. Let's say you know, your art shouldn't be full of feeling. You know, it's about the the technique, and it's about the um, you know the uh, sciency part of it, the getting the anatomy right or the design aspect. You know, and I disagree. I really do. Um, I feel like if you know your your artwork doesn't have inspiration, if it doesn't have feeling, it's empty. Um, you know, what is it that you're trying to portray if there's no inspiration if there's no feeling like you're literally sucking the life out of what we call art when you're you're not um, 
pouring, you know, your soul out onto that canvas or out onto that paper, it's, um, it's, it's actually really maddening to me. I, I, I find it really uh, frustrating that, you know, so many uh, accomplished students of art uh, are, they're taught that um, their art doesn't need to have that inspiration, that feeling, those emotions, uh, because, you know, that's it's part of what makes art so beautiful is uh, the, the emotions. Oh, man, uh, not very good about talking about myself. Uh, I'm pretty shy. Uh, it does take me a minute to warm up to people. Uh, I'm introverted. Uh, live a lot in my head do a lot of thinking. Uh, but I, I like to think that I'm, I'm a fairly uh, warm individual, um, easy enough to get along with. Uh, I'm highly opinionated, but as I, as I get older and wiser, uh, I learned that, you know, my opinion doesn't matter as much as I used to think it did. Um, so I learned to, you know, keep a lot of stuff to myself because, you know, I'm not always right all the time. Yeah. So, um, uh, I've been told that I'm really creative. I guess that's probably a prerequisite of being an artist. Um, but I didn't used to think I was creative. I, I always thought, you know, other people were you know, far more creative than I was. Um, very critical of myself, uh, very hard on myself. And that's it's not necessarily uh, a good thing. But, uh, yeah, as a, as a person, I, I try to uh, really live by my philosophy and, uh, my values and my morals. They're, those are all very important to me. Um, you know, my philosophy is that, uh, you know, how, how you look at life, and, um, you know, the, the answer to the, the meaning of life is, is how you look at life. It's choice essentially. So, you know, what is life? Well, life is, uh, change plus movement and to get the answer for, you know, what is the meaning of life? Well, you have to choose. Is that something beautiful or is it something ugly? And, and I truly do believe that it is something beautiful. Um, I also, uh, believe that, you know, you, you should treat others the way you want to be treated always, 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 uh, because, you know, how you treat others is a reflection of you know, who you are. And so, um, I, I think about the person that I want to be and I, I strive to, to live up to those expectations. Oh, um, my first, uh, paid gig, um, commission, uh, I honestly, I, I, I couldn't tell you. I really, um, I don't remember at this point, uh, but I do, I do remember a lot of, um, opportunities that I received, uh, to create art for a cause that, um, that it didn't involve, uh, monetary gain, but, um, it, it was a, it was a big deal. Um, I created a piece, um, called opioids, um, that, uh, portrayed the, the, the sadness and some of the horrors of the opioid pandemic. And that was a, a live piece that I did at a show, um, for veterans. Um, and then, uh, there were, there's been other pieces that there was a, a young lady named Andrea Salazar. Uh, she did a photo shoot for, um, ABC today. Uh, she was diagnosed with cancer, um, and through the, the midst of fighting off this cancer, she's still able to do these really gorgeous um, photos for this photo shoot. And I came across it and it really touched me. So um, I painted her portrait and um, sent that off to her so that uh, it could be donated to the, the children's clinic where she, um, where she received care for uh her chemo for cancer. 
Um, I have done um, some commissions. You know, I've had people contact me uh, r requesting help in uh, portraying uh, what they're struggling with at the time. Um, and my policy is always, you know, you know, pay what you want or pay what you can, because it's it's not always about money. It's it's about uh, it's about using you know your talents for good, and uh, and sometimes the people that need art can't pay for it. They they can't afford it. Um, you know, part of my philosophy is you know art for the masses. Everybody needs art in their lives. Art is very very necessary. It promotes free thinking. Um, it's it's liberating. Um, so while, it, you know, it, I do feel it is very important to be paid for one's work and for one's time, um, I also feel like the occasionally donating your skills to the greater good, you know, sometimes that can be far more rewarding than, uh, than just, you know, getting paid for doing a piece of work. Winston Churchill, while well, he he was a, an extremely shady character, once said, "If you're going through hell, keep going." Uh, I think that's uh, that's really uh, what artwork comes down to for me. Is if you're struggling, don't give up. You have to keep going. That's that's how we, uh, as you know as humans battle darkness, light, uh, is life. Uh, and life is constantly moving, constantly changing, constantly going forward. Um, so if you want to, um, beat back the darkness, if you want to get through your hell that you're going through, don't give up. So right now I'm working on quite a few things. Uh, I have about four commissions uh, that I'm uh, currently working on. One is a uh, mural that uh, depicts uh, the the characters of the family that commissioned it. Uh, another one is um, a, um, a rape survivor. Um, the she specifically. Uh, asked for me to help her uh, portray how how she you know lives her everyday life um, still dealing with her past um, that one is an illustration of a, a very broken a very wise woman uh, holding out uh, uh, holding her mask away from her face revealing her true her true self um, I'm also working on one called Galactic Church. Uh, it's a very large uh, painting. It's probably the biggest painting I've done so far. Um, that one. Uh, I was just given the prompt words Galactic Church. And so I interpreted that into uh, an image where, uh, you know, it's, it, it's not a, a specific deity or... Uh, specific uh, doctrine or dogma that's uh, that the church stands for but it instead it stands for uh, love for all for the entire universe uh, that one but that one's a really exciting piece I'm really excited for that one um, then another one is uh, part of my fupu collection um, my fupu collection is specifically mine I don't do it for uh, any money. I don't do it for any specific uh, gallery or any shows. But this is um, uh, this is excuse me a collection that I've been working on for many many years, and the newest one is um, it's a, a, a girl uh, sitting in her study uh, writing things down in her book. Her book is on fire. 
um, that this particular fupu, this particular piece, is um, I'm attempting to uh, communicate that that the information that we have right now uh, is it's quickly uh, being taken away from us. So um, I wanted to show that you know as soon as she's learning information, as soon as she writes it down, it's it's being burned away. Um, so I really want people to start paying attention to, you know, how important, you know, certain things are to them, like, you know, their, um, their stories or their pictures or their, uh, video chats or, um, just things that, uh, that they save to their computers or to their clouds. I mean, it's really that when, when you're saving those things to, uh, to this, these devices, to and you're leaving it uh, in the hands of technology. It's um, it's really no longer in your possession. Uh, the, these companies now own it, and they can do whatever they want with it, include uh, including uh, deletion. So um, that's you know, a, another thing that's uh, that's been really heavy on my heart is uh, with uh, the COVID pandemic going on you know that we have you know liquor stores that are still open we have you know gas stations that are still open we have all these places that are still open but uh we don't have access to our libraries we can't go in and free browse information anymore so you know even when you go online um into your library system that that's all that um information that's still controlled so you're still um, being shown, you know, what what the AI thinks that you want to see. You can't just freely discover something that you wouldn't have thought to look for before. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's that's what the um, what that piece is about, and I can't wait to show you that one. It's uh, still in the works. It's another very large painting, but I think it's going to be really pretty. So uh, that one, uh, that question is uh, a little difficult for me to answer because uh, uh, really my, my answer is I, I don't care if people remember me specifically as an individual. Um, that's, that's not really why I uh, create art. I create art for the sake of truth, um, for the sake of preserving truth um, and making it more accessible to the public in a way that, you know, it's, isn't really being done anymore. You know, usually when you have an individual who uh, labors to preserve truth and uh, make it more readily available, it's somebody like uh, a reporter um, or writer. Um, but I really think that, you know, it, for artists who want to continue the the work of preserving truth um, that's 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 what I try to do and I think I think it's um, if you don't mind me saying noble um, and I, I, I don't I try not to be self-serving so I, I don't have a desire for people to remember me because I, I don't matter. Not like that. That's love is what matters. Truth is what matters. Beauty matters. Wisdom. Making this world a better place for our children, for our grandchildren. Because you know, this world is quickly, rapidly falling apart. It's disintegrating before our eyes. And the only way that we can continue to strive to make it better is to you know learn to create beautiful things and preserve those things so i don't think i don't think i care too much if people you know think about me or remember me in 10 years that's uh it's irrelevant 
but truth, uncovering truth that has been hidden by lies that the, the system, you know, has hidden from us. That's what I want people to start thinking about. That's what I want people to start remembering to look for is that, you know, you're not being told the truth on a daily basis. You're, you're being told lies. And the more often that you're told lies, the harder it becomes to recognize truth. So we have to really change, you know, how we're, how we're looking at what we call re reality. Is it reality? You know, but is, is what you're hearing on the news really the truth? That's what I want people to think about. Uh, so I'm on Instagram as abducted by fire. It's all one word. Uh, that's where I post most of uh, my current works. Um, I'm also on uh, Facebook for my artwork. That's J.R. Pollock Art. You can also find me on Etsy. I do sell uh, my other uh, creations and artworks on there. Uh, that's uh, abducted by fire. All one word. Um, and then if you want to reach me directly, you can do that through my email at jackierpollock at gmail.com. I know you hear it all the time. I'm going to tell you again, don't give up. Don't ever give up. If you're struggling, if you have an artist block, if you feel like quitting, uh, art even if you're not, you know, living the dream life and making a ton of money selling your artwork, you know, it, money is such a small part of it. Uh, you, you really endeavor to be a, an artist to the core, you know, you don't ever stop, you know, even when you're not making money doing what you love, which is entirely possible. You just, even if you have to take a break from it and then come back to it, that's okay. Just, you know, don't, don't feel like you have to abandon it completely. You know, if it's a certain piece that you're struggling on, um, I highly recommend books. Books are how I learned, um, many of the techniques that I use, um, there's books on anatomy, there's books on design, there's books on color theory, um, the YouTube videos, tutorials. It just, I mean, if you feel like, you know, you've just hit a wall, uh, education, self, self-educating is really a good place to go to, you know, when you feel like you're stuck. Um, if you're, if you're struggling in, in your personal life and you're an artist, turn to your art. That it's, it's how we get through things is, you know, we, we find a new way to express what we're feeling with the dignity through our art. And that's another reason why art is so important. You know, it, it gives humans that ability to, um, to really, um, you know, express that human condition with, uh, uh, with their dignity intact. So, uh, the, that's probably, uh, the advice that I would give is, you know, don't give up, turn towards your art when you need to, uh, express something, when you need to communicate something. Um, if you're looking for more opportunities, I've had great success with Facebook groups, um, looking for, and reaching out uh, to other artists for advice. It's always a great way to, um, to get your foot in the door. Um, and just always keep practicing. Always keep doing that art. Mm -hmm.